So the Universal Recycling Maiden Stakes is next. This is for three-year-olds over a mile and a quarter. Top one is Ashvar, Mike Westwood, Derby Day, Joshua Sutherland, Graphic Spoken, David and Kibitza, Paul O'Neill, Nelly the Belly, Mark Jones, Pyro Maniac, Django, Starport, Nick Driver, Sundance Kid, Alex Cherry, Tarzia Ings, for Hims, Brief Alakava for John Morgan, Con's Problem Dahaba, I think, for Derek Hinton. Dua Lipper for Dan Hughes. Good Heavens, John Seaford. Green Holiday, Steve Rand. Huma Dagar, Martin Leadham. Joan Jet, Paul Rhodes. Muck Ross Raver, James Shea. Snowstorm, Seabeck with Tegiano, T. Rogers. And likely Spy, Leon Van Rensburg. And Woohoo Comanche for Vinnie Gerard. So 21 men. And they're all in. And away they go, the rain. Coming down makes it more akin to the National Hunt Racing, doesn't it? And Brief Alacaba was the first one to show. Well, they sorted themselves out now, spread right across the track. And it's a straight race just about this, so uh, shouldn't be any problems. They might split into two. It's Dua Lipper, who's now gone on in the blue jacket from Snowstorm second. Sundance Kid is third. Those three up the side of the track and being chased by Graphic Spoken. An unlikely spy down towards this, well, I'll say this near side, but we've swapped angles again now. And Dua Lipper in the blue jacket is in front from Snowstorm second and Sundance Kid third. The one that's closest to us, I think, is Muck Cross Raver. And towards the back, nearly the belly, it's just the back marker, but it's Dua Lipper from Snowstorm and then Sundance Kid right over on the far side. Brief Alacaba's got the rather grey humour. Dagar behind that one in the yellow jacketed Good Heavens. But it's Dua Lipper who's the leader by about a length. And then already down towards the final five furlongs in with Dua Lipper a length clear of Snowstorm. The rest of them queuing up behind with Sundance Kid being shook up a little bit. Brief Alacaba is going well on the inside. Coming out of the pack now, Graphic Spoken is also going particularly well. And that one's going to come through to challenge for the lead. I think oh, the jockey's just eased off on it a little bit as it got close to challenging. Dua Lipper though continues to show the way. Also now coming through is Green Holiday. Woohoo Comanche closes to us. He's also running on well. So to his star port and plenty in with chances as they pass the three pole. And Dua Lipper is still the leader by about a length over there. Queuing up behind. Brief on the cover. Star port. Green Holiday. Woohoo Comanche. Towers earrings. Also trying to get into it, and Kubitzer is now beginning to blitz through as well with two furlongs to go. Dua Lipper is hanging on grimly in the lead from Brief on a car, but Starport throwing out a big challenge closest to us. And Kubitzer, as we switch angles again, and Brief on a car, but now might be in front from Kubitzer. Woohoo, come, come on, she's over the far side, toast Towers here, but it's Brief on a car inside the final furlong, finishing like a train. Is Joan Jet the race up towards the line? It's Brief on a car, but Joan Jet finishing really well, needs a line. This Brief on a car, but Joan Jet might have got a put out now, it's close. He the winning post is a little obscured and where did the line come? Did it come in time for Brief Alacaba as Joan Jett got up? It's mighty close. Graphic Spoken's managed to finish third and fourth according to that, but I don't think it has really. And a race that changed complexion quite a few times in the final furlong and Brief Alacaba has taken it for John Morgan. Joan Jett didn't quite get there for Paul Rhodes. In second, Graphic Spoken for David Robertson, third, and Woohoo Comanche for Vinnie Gerald was fourth, with Unlikely Spy finishing fifth for Leon Van Rensburg.